Welcome to our YouTube channel, which is there for the last 15 years. We have 20,000 absolutely free videos for you. Every day, almost every day, we post a new video. Here is a question which many students wanted the answer of. So what you see here are two logarithmic equations. We need to solve both of them. The trick part here is that these equations involve different base. So that makes it slightly tricky. In this video, you will see how to solve such equations. So we have two equations here. We are going to solve these logarithmic equations where the base is different. Question is, Solve the following equations providing exact values. Question number 1. Log to the base 9 of x minus log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. And question number 2 is log to the base 4 of x cubed plus log to the base 2 of x square root of x equals to 8. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you need my help, you can always email on the address given. Let us explore laws of exponents and then see how can we change the base and then solve these equations. Well, here's a reminder of the logarithmic properties or laws and change of base formula is given right there. Perfect. So basically, if you want to change the base, let me rewrite this formula slightly bigger, log to the base p of x to something else. In let's say a, so you can write in the numerator log to the base e of x and then divide by log to the base e of p. Then you get the same base, you get the idea. And now using the other properties of logarithms, you could solve the logarithmic equation. So with that, I would like you to try and solve this equation and then check with my solution. Perfect. So the equation is log to the base 9 of x minus log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. Since their base is different, we cannot really write x over x or something like this. How do we change the base? Using the formula, we have log to the base 9 of x, we would like to change it to 3, so we can write this as log to the base 3 of x divided by log to the base 3 of 9. Now what is the denominator? 9 can be written as 3 squared, right? So I could write this as log to the base 3 of x over log to the base 3 of 3 squared, and that gives you an idea that this denominator should be now 2, right? So we can rewrite this expression. So now, getting back to the question, which is log to the base 9 of x minus log to the base 3 of x equals to 0, what should we do? We'll change the base from 9 to 3, and then what do we get? We get log to the base 3 of x over this expression. Now what is log to the base 3 of 3 square? It is just the number 2, right? So I'm writing 2 here for that. And then we'll rewrite the next term, which is minus log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. Do you get it? How we got from here to this place? The base log to the base 3 of 3 squared is equal to 2. So we substituted that, correct? So now clearly, what do we have? We have 2 in the fraction. Let's multiply each term by 2. Okay. So if we multiply each term with 2, we get what? We get log to the base 3 of x minus 2. Log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. 
I could have taken it to the other side also. Now, what is log to the base 3 of x minus 2 log to the base 3 of x? They can be combined. That gives me minus log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. Well, that gives me log to the base 3 of x equals to 0. And now we can find the value of x. Can you write down the solution? Well, clearly, it means x is equal to 3 to the power of 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1. And therefore, we have our answer, which is x equals to 1. It's a good idea to check your result, right? So, if you substitute log to the base 9 of 1 minus log to the base 3 of 1, you get 0 minus 0, which indeed is 0. So, that's a check of our answer. Perfectly fine, right? Okay. So, now you, now you know the technique. Why don't you solve this particular question? Question number 2, which is log to the base 4 of x cubed plus log to the base 2 of x square root of x equals to 8. Well, we need to change this base to 2, right? So, let's do that. So, we can rewrite this equation as log to the base instead of 2. Uh, instead of 4, I am writing 2 x cubed. So, I have changed the base to 2 divided by log to the base 2 of 4, right? And then we have plus log to the base 2 of square root of x, which is x to the power of half, and that is equal to 8. Now, log to the base 2 of 4 is 2, right? Because 4 is 2 squared, yes. So, I could write this as log to the base 2 of x cubed over 2. Perfect. Plus, that is half of log to the base 2 of x equals to 8. The numerator here is 3 times log to the base 2 of x, right? So, we could write this as 3 times and there is 2 in the denominator log to the base 2 of x plus half of log to the base 2 of x equals to 8. So, we can combine these terms, log to the base 2 of x common, we get 3 over 2 plus half equals to 8 and 3 over 2 plus half is 1, right? 4, 4 over 2, right? So, it is log to the base 2 of x and this is 3 plus 1, 4, 4 over 2, which is 2, equals to 8. So, we have log to the base 2 of x equals to 8 over 2, which is 4. And from here, you can find what x is. Correct? So, what is x? Can you write down the answer now? So, we can write down, writing in exponential form, x is 2 to the power of 4, which indeed is 16. So, we get our answer as 16. Perfect. If you want, you can check your answer. So, let us not check the answer. So, if I write log to the base 4 of 16 cube, and here I have log to the base 2 of square root of 16, what do I get? Well, 16 can be written as 4 square. So, we have log to the base 4 of 4 square cube. Plus, here we have log to the base 2 of square root of 16 is 4. And this gives us 4 square means 4 to the power of 6, right? So, we have 6 plus 2, which indeed is 8. Make sense? That is how we can also check the solution. Perfect. So, I hope you understand and appreciate how do we solve these equations. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. In case you need help, you can always contact me on the address given or visit our website. Thanks for your time and all the best.